Hi there, it is March and we're getting ready for our second weekend for Barrel Weekend and we thought we'd give a little education on something we love which is the taste bin. So Tim's going to demonstrate and give a little lesson on how the taste bin originated. Hi everyone, this is a taste bin which uh, goes back to uh, mid almost medieval times in France, specifically in Burgundy and the uh, winemaker or cellar master when he was tasting through the barrels uh, back then bear in mind we didn't have electricity so we didn't have lighting in the in the cellars it was always dark the only lighting they had was they had some candle uh, sconces on the walls that they would light so they could find their way around through the barrels and so they developed this silver little dish called the taste vent okay and what a taste fin was, was of course very bright silver, and they would go to the barrel and draw a sample out of the barrel, like I just did here. Now in the bigger barrels, they would put a wine thief in and fill up the little taste fin. But what this did was, as you can see, any ambient light that was in the room, and in this, that case, it was candlelight, would immediately reflect off the bottom of the taste fin, letting you see the color and clarity of the wine. So it was a tool. And then they would just simply take a sip and check the wine. But more importantly, they could see the uh, visuals, the aesthetics of the wine. Now, that was real popular in, those, in that era when there was no uh, electricity, as I mentioned. But it became sort of a uh, regular badge of courage to own one of these, a taste vent. Only wine, uh, winemakers and cellar masters and, and restaurant sommeliers were allowed to actually own a taste vent. And we're talking here again in medieval French times, maybe beyond medieval, but still in the olden days, so to speak. And actually there's uh, some records that show that if you were caught with a taste vent and you weren't a certified sommelier or winemaker or cellar master, uh, you could be beheaded on the guillotine so much for the French and their way of solving problems. But today, it's just a fun thing that we like to utilize during Barrel Weekend to give you a little background in history. Cheers, see you this weekend.